How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and also welcome to my new studio because I had to move Not house just to a different room because Reasons anyway, we are doing something a little bit different today We are looking at three ridiculously easy ways to make money on farming simulator 22 Which is actually four ridiculously easy ways to make money on farming simulator 22 But three sounds better than four well, actually, five sounds the best, but I couldn't think of five. So I just went with three, which is actually four. Yeah, let's just get into it. Just a quick thing. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please consider doing so. And also maybe check out some of my other content. You might just like it. Also, I've been live streaming a lot more over on Twitch lately, and I would like to continue doing so. So if you can maybe follow me over there as well, that'll be great. I'd really appreciate it. Link to that in the description below. Pop in, say hi. So there's many ways to make money in Farming Simulator 22. One of the best ways though is logging. Now there's two ways to go about this. The first is just straightforward chainsaw with a pickup truck or a trailer. Cut down trees, clean them up, cut them to size and then sell them. Now this is a great way to get into it because it's quick, it's cheap to get into and it is quite profitable. If you are going to go this route though, try and use a mod that lets you measure logs before you cut them. Whether these mods are available on console, I'm not 100% sure, but they might be. But it is quite important because I've done multiple tests on this and 2 meter and 6 meter logs always pay the best and sometimes buy a long shot. The second way and my favorite way to make money out of logging is by saving up a little bit of money and building a mill. Now, if you've got the Platinum DLC, you can build a mill for around $50,000, but you can also look at mods and you'll probably be able to build a mill for cheaper than that. Now, with a mill, you basically put it down wherever you want it. You select what you want that mill to make, which is usually a selection of short planks, long planks, beams, and prefab walls. You can select one of them, you can select some of them, or you can select all of them and you effectively just throw logs at it. It doesn't matter the shape or the size of them, you just throw the logs in, it'll do its thing and it'll pop out products on the other side and those products are worth a lot of money. So the second ridiculously easy way to make money in Farming Simulator 22 is one of my favorites because it's completely passive. And to do this, you use things like solar panels, wind generators, and even some mods like cellular antennas, among others. So these items can be used around your farm or around the map as decorative items, but most importantly, they are going to pay you money every day. Now, how much they pay out depends from one product to the next. Usually on the smaller, cheaper items, it's going to be about $500 to $1,000 per month, which doesn't sound like much, but if you've got a few of them around, it does add up quite quickly. Of course, you can spend more money initially and build bigger items that'll pay out more per month if you have the money available. And then of course you can look into mods as well, which will have different building costs and different outputs. Some of them can be a little bit unrealistic, but it just depends how you wanna play that. But this is a great way to make passive money while you're busy doing something else. The third ridiculously easy way to make money in Farming Simulator 22, of course, has to be greenhouses. Now there's three different sizes available, small, medium, and large. Small obviously is cheaper to build initially, but large has a much higher output. Medium is just medium, it's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Anyway, there's two ways to go about the greenhouses. The one is to have the products be stored in crates at the greenhouse and you manually have to load them onto a trailer or a pickup truck or whatever your mode of transport might be and you sell it manually to market. You can also set the greenhouses to sell automatically to market, which obviously makes it a lot more hands off because you only have to worry about the input and not the output but be aware that there's a massive pay cut if you do this i can't remember the exact number but i know it's somewhere around 40 to 60 percent it's a huge pay cut so keep that in mind generally i tend to do the selling manually early game and as i progress i'd eventually switch to uh, automatically selling to market just because i get more busy with other projects around around the farm or other jobs around the farm but you can go about it however you want if you want it to be more of a passive income of course just um, switch it to automatically sell and just make sure the inputs are fine and you don't have to worry about the rest there are also some great mods surrounding greenhouses one of them one of my favorites is the hydroponics 
um, which is basically a greenhouse. The inputs are just slightly different, but the output is very, very high on it. So um, could maybe be a little bit unrealistic, but again, it depends how you want to play that. But greenhouse is a great way to make money, which is not completely passive. It does require a little bit of input, but it's really not hard work. And it's a great way to make money and it is very profitable. So our fourth and final ridiculously easy way to make money in Farming Simulator 22, which is kind of our bonus one, but not really a bonus one. We're just calling it a bonus one because, well, three looks better than four in a title for some reason. So yeah. Anyway, number four is bees. Now, bees are great for two reasons. Number one, they make money directly. Number two, they make money indirectly. And what I mean by that is they directly make money through placing the beehives and then placing a spawn point. Then honey jars will appear at the spawn point. You take it to market, you sell it, you make money. There's no input required for that. As long as you have the hives, they'll generate honey. So that's a great way to make money for basically doing nothing other than just selling the product manually at the shop. So no input required. But then indirectly, they also make money because if you place the hives close to your fields, they'll help pollinate certain crops, which will increase the yield of those crops, which means when harvest time comes around, you're going to have more crop. So you're going to make more money. And there's no input required for that either. So um, bees are great to have around the farm. You can also be quite strategic with the placement of the hives to help sort of with decoration in an aesthetic way. If you do it right, it can look really nice. And it can give your farm a little bit of character. But um, yeah, I think bees are really one of the income generators in Farming Simulator that is generally quite looked over. And I'm not sure why. I quite like them. And I think they're quite important to have around your farm. So let me know in the comments, actually, if you use bees on your farm. Anyway, that is my four ridiculously easy ways to make money in Farming Simulator 22, and I hope you found it helpful. If there's any methods that you use in Farming Simulator to make money that's really easy or maybe even passive that I didn't mention in this video, make sure to let me know about them in the comment section below. But we are going to leave it there for today, so if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing as well. And if you can do me a massive favor and follow me over on Twitch as well, Link to that is in the description below. I'd really, really appreciate it. But we're going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.